Sun up, sun down. Sun up, sun down by Gail Gibbons. The sun wakes me up. It rises in the east and shines through my window. It lights up my room and makes patterns on my floor. Its brightness colors the clouds in the sky, but the sun itself is too bright to look at. It could hurt my eyes. I go down to breakfast. My cereal is made of wheat. My dad tells me the sun made the wheat grow. He says the sun gives power and energy to make plants and trees grow big and tall. It is summer because it is hot. I don't need to wear a coat or sweater today. The sun is high in the sky and the days are long. When the sun is low in the sky, the days are shorter. It is winter and it is cold. That is when I need my coat. Hat and mittens. But on a summer morning like this, I see my shadow on the ground. The sun is behind me in the east. When I move, my shadow moves too. It points west. By noontime, the sun is shining right above me. My shadow is gone. It is a hot time of day, and I am glad when my mother calls me inside for lunch. While I'm eating, I ask my parents a question. How far away is the sun? My mother tells me it is very far away. 93 million miles from our planet Earth. She says it is a very big star. It looks bigger than the other stars because it is closer to us. My dad says the sun is a ball of very hot glowing gases. It keeps our planet warm. He says our earth would be dark and very cold if there were no sun. It would also be empty. Nothing could live on it. After lunch, I go outside. My shadow is back again, but now it points east. The sun is moving west behind me. Suddenly, big clouds begin to cover the sun. My shadow is gone again. Over the, in the valley, the sun peeks through the clouds, making shadows on the ground. More clouds come. They are gray and black. It becomes dark. A raindrop hits my nose, and I run home. I hear the rain on the roof of my house. My dad says the sun helps make rain so that we can have fresh water to drink and so that plants and trees can grow. He tells me that when the sun shines on our oceans, lands, and rivers, lakes and rivers, it warms the water. Some of the water turns into vapor and rises high into the sky. The cooler air up in the sky turns the vapor into tiny raindrops. Clouds are formed. The raindrops float higher up into colder air. They become bigger and bigger. Finally, when the drops are heavy and big enough, the drops fall and it rains. Soon, the storm clouds begin to drift away. Although it is still sprinkling, the sun appears once again and shines through the raindrops. I see a beautiful rainbow. My mom says the light of the sun shining through the raindrops makes the rainbow. She tells me the sunlight looks white, but it really isn't. It is made up of many colors. 
When a beam of light shines through a glass triangle called a prism, the beam of light is bent. Some of the rays of the beam bend more than others, separating the light into different colors. The drops of water are like the prism. When sunbeams shine through the raindrops, what will we see in a, is a rainbow. When I go outside, my shadow is long and skinny. The sun is setting in the western sky. It is getting cool outside. The sun is leaving for today, and the sky is getting dark. My dad tells me the sun will shine on the other side of our planet while I'm asleep. He says the earth spins around, round and around, and makes a complete turn once every 24 hours. When our part of the earth faces the sun, it is day. When it is turned away from the sun, it is night. It is night now. The sun is down. The sky is dark. It is time to sleep. The end.